Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and today I have a little unboxing and review video for you. For the longest time, my go-to audio recorder was a Zoom H1. This is what I use to record all the audio that you see in my videos. I, I love this thing, I recommend this thing, uh, it fits anywhere and I've been using it for years. However, I just recently came into a new voice recorder that I think is even better. And just got it right here. This is the Sony ICD SX2000. Uh, basically, this is a new voice recorder I just got. I want to unbox it, show it to you, and show you why this is the new voice recorder that will replace my Zoom H1. So let's begin. This, uh, I, I, I ordered this from Amazon. I, actually, first of all, I want to. Uh, Give a little shout out to the uh, the reader who recommended this. Like he was, he he uh, yeah he made a comment on one of my YouTube videos and said you should check this thing out. So I did, and wow, it, it's really really cool. But yeah, here it is. So it comes in a nice little box. All right, like that. Okay. So this is a manual. Put that aside. All right, this is a recorder. All right, here it is. So. All right, so let's uh, first, first thing you notice when you put the two together, the, the Sony is significantly smaller than the Zoom H1. So that's the first thing, size difference. Yeah, so as a, and also it feels a lot better too. This, you can tell that it, it's pretty much light plastic. This has a good weight to it. And so let's put this, Put this put the H1 down and look closer at this. Let me show you. Alright. So first thing you notice is all the controls, there were no controls in the back. The display is a lot bigger than the zoom, it's a little bigger than the zoom display. Alright. Now, the main advantage of this, besides its size, is that it has 16 gigs of memory built in, whereas the, the Zoom comes with uh, a 2 gig micro SD card. The 2 gig, which is which I generally replace because I find 2 gig to be pretty limiting. This comes with 16 gigs. That means that at its highest resolution of 9624, I can record seven and a half hours with uh, the 16 gig card, which is much much better than than this one hour if you do the use a 2 gig. Okay. So. That's the first advantage. The second advantage is when it comes to transferring the audio data onto, onto your software. With Zoom, I would have to remove the memory card and plug it into um, a micro SD adapter, then plug that into my computer. Uh, with the SX2000, I just, it, already, it has built in USB. So all I gotta do is just plug that into the computer and boom. I don't need it, in and out. That's, that, that's cool. The other thing is, the built-in mics are the same, you know, like the, the, the same style of mic, this is the XY configuration, whereas the, uh, the zoom is fixed in the XY configuration, the Sony allows you to actually adjust these mics to different configs. Right? So this is, this is more for interview style, shotgun style, directly in front of you. This is more, this is used for, I guess, uh, more recording music. And this way, having them go for a while is to record a Y sound stage, like an opera or something, uh, something like that, but yeah. And it has an output for a lavalier, just like the, uh, just like the, the Zoom. And it also has an output to monitor the headphone just like the zoom, which is on the other side. Now I like this configuration more, like I know the lab goes here and the headphone goes here. Whereas on the zoom, uh, lab is on this side, headphones on that side. There's been a time where I actually, I actually plugged my lavalier onto the headphone side and as a result, I, I recorded nothing. Right. With, with the SX2000, I can't make that mistake because yeah, I can't make that mistake. Right. The, uh, the, the main downside, of the SX2000 seems to be, uh, it's the price, it's the price. It is, it is twice as much as the Zoom H1. 
Now, is it worth that? Is it worth twice as much? Uh, yeah, I say so. The smaller size, the smaller form factor, the the look, the feel of the thing just feels higher quality. The bigger display, the 16 gig memory card, as well as the uh, the built-in USB here. So, two hundred dollars versus. Uh, 100 bucks or oh, right now I think you get these at Amazon for like $70 so actually it's, it's, this is more than twice as much but however don't forget this has been discontinued so this has been replaced by the Zoom H1n which is starts at 120 so in that case this is only $80 more and for $80 more getting the 16 gigs of memory plus the built-in USB and the battery is built in as well so whereas the Zoom takes a one double a battery which will depending on the battery you 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 put in there maybe it'll last like anywhere from six to 12 hours this has a built-in lithium iron battery so that once you actually plug into your computer when you're transferring data once you plug it in it starts charging the battery and the battery by itself is good for almost 15 hours of record time so that's uh, more than enough but i have never gone below even a battery bar because when i'm using it once it's plugged in it starts recharging battery by the time I finish editing my my audio this thing's fully charged so I I never have to worry about battery issue so all right so uh, it was what else, what else is in the box so let's see this is this was a few other stuff in the box too so let's, let's check it out here all right so we have oh <laughs> cool it's a little wind yeah oh goes on top of here it's a little a little wind sock here for use of wind kind of cool the Zoom doesn't have that, so that's extra. And what else is there? And it's a USB transfer cable. And looks like, oh, this is nice. A pouch. All right, cool. So you have a, comes over a little pouch here. A little magnetic, it's magnetized, so yeah, for storage. So yeah, I guess. You know, this stuff worth a little extra money, I suppose. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So this will be uh, moving forward. This is my new recommended digital voice audio recorder. I mean, the, the Zoom is still great. Uh, th there is plus or minuses of both units. Uh, I, I've been using it. By, I've, been I've been using this forever. I'm starting to use this thing. And... The first thing I notice is the you know the screen is bigger, so therefore that's a plus. On the downside, for the Sony on the downside, the record, the record button and the off button are two separate buttons. Whereas on the zoom, it's just on and off, just a record button. I rather have just the record button on record stop, record stop. This one on the on the SX two thousand, I hit record, then I had to hit stop. I had to hit this side, and, and a few times I. I hit the record, it doesn't start the recording, it just pauses the recording. So I wish they made it one button, would have simplified it, but they didn't. And the other thing is, the inst when I turn it on, I should have turned it on here. When I turn it on, the meters, the record level meters, like you see on the, uh, when I'm talking, you can see the meters go up and down on record level. I am talk testing one, two, three, you can see the meters go up and down. You notice when the Sony is on, the meter is not on at all. The meter doesn't start until I hit record, like I hit record here. Now, now the meters begin. But when, when it's uh, not on, I can't meters. Like the, 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 the level meters doesn't show unless I hit record. Whereas the zoom, once I turn this on and I just start talking, I can see the meter go up and down. This will allow me to adjust my level without hitting the record button. With the Sony, in order for me to set the level, I have to actually hit the record button to set the levels, and that's to me is, is stupid. <laughs> I wish they, you know, had the mics on, was when this thing's just on. But I don't know why they did that, but that's what they did. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's not a big issue, but I would have preferred them to do it the way the way Zoom did. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that is the uh, the new SX two thousand Sony Digital Voice Recorder. I have $199.99 or $200, bucks, $200 at Amazon. I'll have the link below this video. And yeah, compared to the old Zoom H1, it's 
a lot smaller, feels a lot more higher quality, uh, six, built in 16 gigs of memory, built in USB. I feel it's worth the extra money, but you know, if you're on a budget, this is still awesome. I mean, quality wise, uh, record quality, they're the same. Both offer 9624 high resolution recording. Uh, yeah, so if, if you just want a better looking unit, a more compact unit, you can fit in your pocket. Now, this will fit in your pocket too, but this will even fit even tighter in your pocket. But yeah, if, if, you're, if I were just starting out looking for a voice recorder, I would go for this one. If I'm on a budget, I'll go for the Zoom. All right, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Welcome your feedback. And this is being recorded. Of course, I'm using this to record. I'm using my Zoom to record this video. But yeah, in future videos, it'll be with the Sony. All right. So that's it for this unboxing. Hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. And once again, the links, the link for these products are below this video. So uh, enjoy. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.